And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. West Virginia's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that he's going to be. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage, and, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up there and show what you can do as a complete offense it'll be a challenge he's out of bounds at about the 37 yard line it really wasn't badly played by the defense but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you he's at midfield He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That's good for being 21 yards. That makes it first and 10. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And a quick throw. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. He's on the run. Brought down at the 15. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. And he tackles him hard at the 23. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. This is the eighth play of this drive. There's a strike complete. He's down. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. West Virginia is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line. Third down. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. And they're coming after this punter. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. West Virginia is up by three. Hey, check, check. Set. Hey. 
Almost intercepted there. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Check nine, check nine. And it's caught. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want out of this. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. Number 42 on the tackle at the 19-yard line. That brings up second and five. Another run. He fights forward to about the 19. And this play is number eight on the drive. West Virginia is up a field goal. He's hit and taken down. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made at the four. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a gain of four. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, West Virginia. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. the PAT. So a 12-play, 51-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And they can forget about returning this one. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Quick pass. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Receivers got it on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Check 
Fires out to his wideout. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Tackle at the 34. to that quickly and he's level at the 31 yard line we've played one West Virginia leads it 10 nothing and we welcome you back to the action here just about set to start the second quarter three down three down 31's the mic here we go here we go here we go green <laughs> And he's immediately tackled. He makes it to the 15-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Red two. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle. The nine-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. And run up the gut. That brings him second and goal. One left and he's taken down in the backfield. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. Touchdown, Cowboys! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. It was a 12-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. West Virginia holds a field goal lead. He just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Number 45 makes the set goal at the 42-yard line. First down. Catches it, and that's all. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at, but make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. 
Fires out to his receiver, and he hits him hard at the six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it first and goal. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 17-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires it out. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That is a loss of five on the play. That'll make it 35. From their own 30 yard line, third down. That's going to be a long day. 47 miles, 47 miles. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue 20. Steps out of bounds at the 33. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it fourth and two. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Oh, man, he took him down hard. West Virginia's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. But it's been the air game, Kirk. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a star in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more. But still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. From their own 20-yard line, third down. Caught open field. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Caught out in the open. Brought down at about the 47 yard line. That's a gain of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Hey, get in the weight room. Slings it. West Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. From the 43 yard line, it's second down. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Get 
gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Tack on any yardage. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. They keep moving the defense back. And two. And go. He's on the run. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. That was a great decision to take off. He saw a little bit of room open up, and he knew he could get the first. Five wide. Quick throw, and they push him out at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws it out there. Great concentration to haul it in. And he's hit immediately. Quick pass, intercepted. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. It's first and ten. Ball on their own eight. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes at the 45. We played a half of football. West Virginia leads it 17-7. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Mountaineers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Hands it to the back. Decent run here, right side. Caught. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. He fights forward to about the 36. He's taken 
second down at the 37. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. He's tackled at about the 41. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle made around the 46 yard line. From their own 46 yard line, it's first down. His receiver dropped it incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it second and ten. Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He airs it out. Tipped away. That's the definition of a shutdown corner there. It's very difficult to complete passes against this guy. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And a quick throw. And he is drilled at the 30. First down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. That's a game on the play. That'll make it 77. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. Game 15 on the play. Hey, that's good. That's good. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Tackle around the 36 yard line. That's a gain of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Three down. Motion, motion, yay! Motion, motion. There's a strike complete, and he tackles him hard at the 24. First down. They come out in a five wide set. Go. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. That was a heads up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. From the 24 yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. Tenth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Motion, check, motion, check, motion. check, check. Here we go. Hey, if you kill it, let's go. Yeah. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. 
of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 48. From the 48-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down around the 41-yard line. his way to about the 28. Now he's scrambling. And he's level at the 28. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. to thread the needle and it's not going to work. He's at the 20. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. He splits the uprights with the extra point. West Virginia lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. There he goes! And he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. He's hit and taken down. A little handoff. Runs outside for a nice game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Fires out to his receiver. They're just one quarter away. 27 to 7, Mountaineer.
back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. A strike complete, and he's down. He laterals the ball. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36. the stop around the 18 yard line good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz that gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game they're in the red zone so this quarterback better be smart last time he threw a pick down here fires quickly and they got it touchdown pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly, and again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pass. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled right around the 34. That brings up second and one. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. down quickly. A gain of six. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 39-yard line. He's hit the 300-yard mark with that throw. He's been able to get up and down the field all day today, moving consistently and effectively. You can see when he throws the ball well, this team usually wins. And he's tackled right away. Number 45 on the tackle at the 28-yard line. First down. Knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. Throws complete. Big loss. Play number nine of this current drive.
So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He gets it up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he can't get away from the pressure. Loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. He lets it fly. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Number 23 breaks up the pass. It's third and long. Ball on their own 19. Black five. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Makes it fourth and long. He goes downtown. Great concentration to haul it in. Just over a minute left. Throws complete. He's hit right away. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He's taken down around the 17-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. He zips it out to the right. That close to being intercepted. From the 17-yard line, second down. And they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. This is the 10th play of this drive. Red two, yellow three. He heaves it to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, OSU. And they're looking to get two points here. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They don't get it. So a 10-play, 75-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So the score now, 30 to 20. The Mountaineers staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's chess or checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost a battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Under a minute left. They hand it off. 
Oklahoma State will take their last time out. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Going long. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. Tackle made right around the 36 yard line. over and our final score in this one 30 20 Mountaineer that brings this broadcast to a close for EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street I'm Brad Nessler we'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.